Praise the Lord. I'm going to have my wife come on up here with me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So, uh, yeah, because she, uh, she, uh, she's a specialist in this area. Amen. And so she's going to help me out. Amen. The Hebrew nugget for today, amen, is uh, just a little bit about, amen, uh, how the Ashkenazis control media. And uh, we've talked about how they control uh, TV, amen, but we have really yet to get into the depths of how much they control music, amen. Somebody say music. Music, music is so powerful, saints. Amen. And uh, a lot of the times you can convey a message or brainwash a person or get them to believe what you want to believe by a song. If music wasn't powerful, commercials wouldn't use it on million dollar ads. Amen. Uh, we can remember music that was put to an ad when we were small. I like to teach the world to sing. Amen. Amen. And, and, and all of these other things. Amen. Because music has power. And I uh, just want to show you that the music industry, amen, and we've been doing a lot of research on music lately because some things that we're doing. Uh, the music industry, amen, is controlled by um, three or four major record companies, you know. Now, my wife would go as far as to say, what, it's not maybe... Two. Yeah, two. And so I got, I got some picks. If y'all can put them picks up there, amen, on the companies. So that's the Ashkenazi's control of the news and the media and the movies. But let's go a little bit deeper, amen. That's all the record companies, amen. Now the record companies, you know what I'm talking, I'm talking about even the ones that, hallelujah, the quote unquote Hebrews own. They come out, it's my label, it's my record company. The devil is a liar, yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, it's your label on the face of it, but who behind the label? You with me so far? So all these people, Jay-Z and all them other boys, you don't, they, they don't really own that. There's somebody else behind the scenes pulling the strings. So when we, when we boil it down even more, we got about three or four. Let's, let me give, get another shot. You got Universal, which is the same one, amen, that control which TV channel? That's Columbia, CBS. All right, that's CBS. Uh, you got Warner Brothers. And you got Sony. EMI was just purchased by, who purchased EMI? I believe it's, I, I believe Universal. it's Universal. Universal just purchased EMI. So it's really just about three major record labels. Amen? And, uh, and so when you hear like a Lil Wayne and Kanye West and Drake and Dr. Dre and Eminem and all that, you're thinking that that's people that's putting out their own stuff? And that they, you know, some of them independent artists and stuff like that, don't believe the hype. Amen. They control by the people that we call the serpent people, the ones that pose to be Jews that are not, that control, amen, a lot of the media, the banking industry, amen, the political industry. And it's the reason why the world is the way it is. Amen. When the wicked are in power, the people mourn. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what's going on. And so... Amen. We got to think about, my wife, she said it best. She said, as we, as we think about who owns it, amen. Y'all have that internet site that I gave you? If y'all can pull that up, and we're going to scroll down. And I'm just going to show the pictures, amen. We're just going to show the pictures, amen, of, uh, of the owners, amen, of, of, of the group. Yeah, yeah, that's one of them with Easy e amen. That's going way back, you see. Uh, that's Scarface saying who control it. What did it say, babe, uh, Scarface? I, you can't see it? Scarface say, uh -uh. hallelujah. <laughs> I thought my eyes were just bad. Scar Scarface is saying that, that the Jews are the ones that own the hip-hop industry and black entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Now, when people come out like that, they don't live too long. Amen. You got to go and research, amen. Uh, what, you got to go and research, amen, what Prince and what, what Michael Jackson was saying about who really owned. Prince began performing with, with, a, with a word on his face. Anybody remember that word he had on face? Slave. Because somebody else had owned him. And Brother Doug and Phil, we, we starting to learn a lot about the record industry, amen. 
these these guys, the record company gets probably about almost 80 to 90 percent of these proceeds. The entertainers that appear to be wealthy, amen, only getting about 10, sometimes if they, some big time, 15% at the most 18% of all the money that's coming in. The money going to the Ashkenazis again. They tell them when to put out the album, they tell them what time the album put out, and they tell them what can be on the album. That's Jay-Z up there with them people. They not their own men, is what I'm telling you. You see? You see, they're not their own men, and they're not their own women. Somebody else own them, you see? And one of the rappers was saying, he said, they asked him, they say, man, why y'all can't say God and why y'all can't say Jesus? He said, man, I really never thought about that. He said, to me, the only people who would not allow me to say God and Jesus in my songs, you know, would be the devil, he said. And, and I'm talking about, look, it's a worldly rap. He said, I guess that would be the devil. Getting an epiphany, a revelation. So let's just scroll down. And I, I wish I had my glasses. I would say the names, but we might, we might get ourselves in trouble if we start calling out too many names. Amen. But these are the pictures of the people who own them. CEO or Universal. All right. Keep on going. Just scroll down it for me. Amen. Keep on going. All right. What that one say? CEO of Sony Music. That's an that's a Ashkenazi as well. Come on down. Now, Sony owned Michael Jackson, right? Yes. All right. Jewish vice president of Sony. Keep on going. CEO of Warner Music Group. Keep on going. CEO of Universal. Hor Horowitz. Keep on going. John Janney. Hallelujah. Chief operating of Interscope. Put out a lot of gangster rap. Now, what you'll find is the same people that's putting out the most gangster rap for us killing one another yeah. is the same people that own percentages in the prisons. Oh, God have mercy. Oh, God have mercy. We're going to put the music so they can shoot each other, and when they get locked up, we're going to make money off of them. Look, look, look at him standing there with, with knives in the back. Def Jam Records. We thinking that's all black. We thinking that's all. We, we think, oh, I'm going to go buy that record. I'm supporting a black artist. That ain't no black artist. You're supporting the serpent people, the enemies, the ones that they claim to be the people of God. If that was the people of God, would they be putting out stuff like that? Come on. Another CEO of Def Jam. Look how he dressed. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Here it is, another, another one of Def Jam. We think that's all black. That ain't black, that's Ashkenazi. Another one of Def Jam. Look at his head, look at that, look at that. Keep on going. Founder of Def Jam. Thank you, Jen, for pointing that out. Look at that. Interscope Records. Columbia Records. Oh, you can stop right there, you can stop right there. Virgin and E&M, look at that. RCA Records coming out. Look, let me tell you something. That's who own the record business. That's who putting out our music. Amen. Babe, what else you got? Well, they're only a small percentage. Go ahead, talk the to them, baby. Oh, talk. okay, I'm talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> they're only a small percentage of the population. So to control so much in media like that is pretty much profound. You see what I'm saying? They're only like 7% of the United States population. You yeah. see what I'm saying? To have such a heavy weight in the music industry is almost... It's unheard of that their vote counts so much. And then think about, the Bible says, you shall know them by their fruit. What's the fruit that's coming yeah. up? When you think about Beyonce, when you think about Lady Gaga, what's the yeah. fruit coming out of that? Pretty when you think, about, when you think about the gangster hip hop, yeah. the killing, the murder, what's the fruit of all that? I'm asking you, is that what the people of God look like? You know? Who the people? You know what I'm saying? Now here's the other thing we got to be careful of. Because they didn't learn that Christian music is very lucrative as well. They don't want some of the money. They want all the money. So Christian artists are being signed now. And they put in little different names and little uh, sibling uh, uh, child companies under the parent companies. 
But it's still, they still signing with the Ashkenazis. So Lecrae signed with the Ashkenazis. I, and I'm not, listen, and, and there's people that we listen to, there's people that we love. I'm not judging them. We sing some of their songs, but I want you to just watch that. That's why some of them boys like Bizzle, they coming out independent. They saying God over money. We ain't selling out for nothing. Because eventually, <laughs> whoo, because eventually when they get their hands on it, you're you going to begin to notice that the music is watered down. It ain't the same like it used to be. You see? And I'm not knocking nobody, but listen, it's hard to go against somebody that's paying you. And they paying these people, you know? Anything else, love? No, I just was a, a lot of Christian artists. They have a subgroup um, that run them, like you know, um, Tasha Cobbs, Ty Tribute, um, Third Day, you know, Carrie all Joe. It's all it's all, all of the ones that we love, and they're still Christian. We're not saying that, but it's just they are working for you know. And I, I'm not judging them, yeah. but 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 here's the deal: when them people come in, and they offer you a million dollars to sign. I, I, I done been, we done been with artists sitting at the table with them, and they say them people walk in and throw a stack on the table. But as Hebrews, we got to get to a place, yo, where we say your money perish with you. You understand what I'm saying? Where, where we do our music, we live good, we got a house, we provide for our kids. We don't have to make all the money. There's strings attached to that money. You can make a few hundred thousand dollars and still live. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do all that. There's strings attached with that. You go research what Prince talked about and Michael was talking about before them people died. They was trying to tell people what was really going on. Who's that? Oh, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill knew all about it. Go ahead and listen to her music. I get out. I get out. I'm getting out of that. You know? You know? Uh, it's ran by the devil, by people, hallelujah, that the Bible would say is the synagogue of Satan. And what they put out is devil music. What I would say is this, and I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. What, I, what I'm going to say is this. Don't support them no more. Yeah. Don't support them no more. Don't, don't buy their music. You know, now I'm not saying the Christian artists just yet, you know what I'm saying? But as, as time moves, we're going to move into getting our Christian artists back on the independent labels. You know what I'm saying? But especially that worldly stuff, don't support them no more. Amen. If you're an artist, don't sign with these people. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they're not the people. We the people. We the people. Come on, give God some glory. Thank you, pretty. Yeah, downstairs. Oh, oh, thank you, pretty. Oh, yeah. Thank you, pretty.